Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I have a pretty great video for you. I was finally able to prove to myself from customer comments that T-Mobile home internet can actually support gaming. So, uh, this was something I hypothesized a long time ago, but one of you reached out to me and gave me enough information that I said, you know what? It's about time we tried this. And I went out yesterday and bought a PS5, and luckily my son's home from school. He was able to help set it up and test it out and yeah we got it all working and we uh, played it exactly well here i'm gonna pop it up conductor mike three step told me that his son was having problems getting kicked off uh, when his son would play massive multiplayer games so any multiplayer mode black ops 6 call of duty any multiplayer mode like warzone team death or zombies i queued in on zombies and told my son let's do multiplayer zombies let's get it going because i couldn't stay alive for five to twenty minutes which mike asked me to do uh is that games those people are not nice anyway and plus i was still learning i'm getting better but anyway my son was home from school and he was able to take on these guys lasted for 57 minutes and we didn't you have to get a network there and the responsiveness was good enough and he even got to like level 10 on my character so that's great <laughs> But here's what we're looking at. All right, so this is what we were able to test out. And these modems are gateways. They are modems and access points. And therein lies the problem. When they get a, a IP address from T-Mobile, you can't monitor it because it keeps, it keeps changing and you can't even see it. Why? Because inside the gateway, it also has an access point and it's already doing that network address translation. You can't turn it off. So forget getting an antenna and trying to make this thing better. It belongs in the trash. Uh, it, here, here's what I mean. When I am able to use the Amplimax, and that's what this looks like. Uh, it's an outdoor antenna with a modem built into it. But I'm able to get my IP address directly from T-Mobile. And I use DDNS to monitor that changing IP address and report it to a third party. It's no IP. I have a video on that. And guess what? It worked exactly the same. I didn't have to change anything. I'm going to share with you all of my settings that I needed to make this possible. We played multiple uh, multiplayer games. Uh, let's see, Fortnite. It's a lot of fun. A little bit easier. Call of Duty 6 uh, Black Ops is a hard game. But guess what? It works beautifully. We've got zero network errors the entire time. So here's what I did. I'm going to go and show you on my Amplimax. This is the Amplimax. It goes outside. You put your SIM card in it. Uh, the Here, this is where you get it. I'll put a link to this. Hey, it helps out my channel, but I really like this product. It has 46 reviews, which I think is ridiculous because we've sold so many of those. I think we've sold over 1,000. So where's the rest of the reviews? I don't know. If you, re if you have one of these and you're like, yeah, I love that unit, do a review. It really helps out. Most people are giving this five out of five and I totally get it. This product will get you better signals than you ever have before. Here, I'm gonna show you on my Elsys. Here it is. This is the one on my roof. It has a T-Mobile card in it and I'm getting five bars. When I have the device from T-Mobile, I had the little gray one on the end, that one, Nokia. I was getting between two and three. The third one would blink on and off depending. This stays at 99% all the time. The quality of your signal is everything. But anyway, so it's not only just the quality of your signal. Once you get that IP address, you can monitor it because this is just a modem. I actually use a Netgear router and I'll put this. This is my Netgear Orbi. I'll sign into this and show you all the stuff that I've done because it was exactly like I did in my video before. But here. Uh, the latest version of firmware is version 2.5. Make sure you have it because this is what it looks like. You could follow along exactly. So system status here. These are the numbers that matter. I'm getting N41, B66, and N25. And here's where it matters. It's right here. Reference signal receive power. How powerful is your signal? Well, you really need over 100. And then the 90s, negative 90s better, negative 80s better. And that's really good. Negative 70 is just crazy. That's really, really good. I'm outside. I have a antenna that is amplified and it's pointing directly at the tower. 
Uh, quality, I'm getting 10. And signal to noise, you're looking for anything above 20. 20 is golden. 10 is okay. 11, 12, 20 is great. 32, that's just crushing it. So that's why this modem is able to get me better scores. What kind of scores? I put it in NSA mode. I'm going to show you why in a second. NSA is non-standalone. It means I'm using B66. There, B66 is a 4G LTE band, and that's the primary band. Does it say that? Does it call it out? Yeah, PCC. That means primary band. And if I pull up this one, do, 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 probably says it on the second signal. Yeah, SCC. That's my secondary band. Uh, and 41 is also in the mix. This is a really interesting uh, thing that they've done here. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I do with that. Once I have it set up exactly like this, ooh, go into connection settings. Here's how you get there. Under band locking. This is a weird place to put it. Here's all your 5G settings. 5G is turned on, so is 4G, and the mode, auto, SA, and NSA. I put it in NSA, and here's why. I normally get really good scores, both up and down, and my ping is right around 40. Now, I'm as a YouTuber, I'm putting up video all the time, and I love my 120 to 140 megabit up. Now, when I put it in NSA, my, uh, my download scores actually improve slightly. 679, I think it was even touching 700 during this, was a good score. But I gave up so much of my upload that I wouldn't normally keep it like this. But if the kids are home and they're playing games, the ping of 21 is just about half of what I normally get. I normally get a, a ping of 40, but a ping of 21 is better for gaming. So we left it like that. And uh, in this here, on my access point, if you go to advanced, advanced again, you can find a DDNS. Now, there's a lot of routers that have a DDNS service, and most of them support no IP. In fact, it's probably already in the BIOS or whatever. Uh, I do have an account for no IP. I have a whole video on this. Take a look at that. In fact, if you sign up for no IP, I think they give me five bucks for next year when I sign up again. I've already signed up for a year. I've been making T-Mobile work well with my Plex server for a year. I have another video that shows an Android box in my car and it has a 4G, car, 4G service. Put my 5G uh, card in there and I can stream Netflix in my car and it's great. But I also put Plex on there because it is Android. I'm able to stream Plex perfectly all the time. There are some times, and watch that video because it did fail and you're like, where's my movies? Guess what? I talk you through it and I say, hey, sometimes this happens. My IP address must have changed. Let's count to 30 and try it again. And guess what? All the movies come up. Pretty darn cool. It is a great fix and it does work all the time. That same fix implemented here with 5G NSA uh, has worked and it works beautifully. Here, the mode, I talk about that in, the, in my other video. I talk about the need to be in bridge mode. I'm not in bridge mode. I'm in router mode. I'm in router mode because I want to get around uh, and was testing different things. Plex continues to work in router mode. That's really interesting. It seems like this DDNS fix has fixed everything. I tried turning it off and I lost my Plex. So it does seem to be the missing link. Well, there you go, guys. This video came from a question from one of you, and well, a lot of people reported this, so I thought we needed to dig into it. Hey, I had to go buy a PS5 in order to shoot this video, but uh, I think I'm going to be enjoying it. It looks like a lot of fun, and it plays really nicely on this network. Now that we fixed it, you know, that's what sometimes you need to do. This is a wonderful network, and I do like T-Mobile an awful lot. I'm glad that we we're able to fix it, so now we can play games and serve Plex. Anyway, guys, hey, leave questions down below. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.